<laughs> Screech! That, that's my white walker noise. Do you like it? I'm basically just saying gray. Gray! It's like, it's like an old woman too. I can't... Oh boy. Good evening. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to be a white walker. Actually, it's pretty simple. In fact, my entire face is just white body paints and this is all eyeshadow. So as long as you have a white base, you can do this with whatever you have at home. I mean, you can do all my videos at home, but I mean like you probably have half of the video supplies at home already. As always, all the products that I use today will be listed somewhere around the video. Also, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or like advice, please let me know in the comments below. I am not good at white walker noises. I'm first covering my eyebrows using a washable, keyword washable, glue stick. Now really this is optional. The body paint will cover your eyebrows, but you'll be able to see your eyebrow texture in there if you don't cover them. Check it out. I look like the creepy moon emoji. Now like I said in the beginning of this video, my entire face other than the white portion is all done in eyeshadows. I originally was going to sketch it out in body paint first, but then I decided, you know what, I'm gonna do it in eyeshadows and see how it goes, and I ended up doing the entire face starting from this point. I'm first using an angled brush using a medium gray and a lighter gray and sketching out where the eyes are gonna go as well as some of the Wrinkles, then going into the cheeks. And while I was doing this, trying to figure out where the wrinkles and lines should go on my face structure, I based it off of a skull. And of course, the wrinkles themselves, I based off a reference photo of a White Walker. For the bumps and the anatomy on his forehead, I decided to do it using the wrinkles themselves. I use my flat iron to, um, to make crimps in my hair, and so I go over, under, over, under, over, under. So like that's literally my reference of doing these wrinkles in here, is to go under, over, under, over, to make it look like it's crimped, but it's bone structure. I then also added some details next to my eyes as well as around my nose. Once you have your base set of wrinkles down, I then switched over to the detail brush and alternated between the detail brush and the angled brush and just continued to use darker gray shadows to darken up each feature. All right, so I just decided just now um, that I'm gonna fill in my eyes using eyeshadow instead of body paint. For my eyes, I used three different shades. First, putting the medium gray on the sides, the light gray in the lower bottom, and then going in with black. Black can be kind of tricky when you're using it because it is so dark. So continuing to use the black throughout the face, do it very light and very sparingly. You can always build up, but it can be tough to take off. Apply the black to your lips, line your eyes, a little bit of Lexorcist, paint your neck and your chest white. You know what, I just realized, I've been sitting here absolutely freezing because I've had my fan on, and then I'm sitting here thinking, why am I sitting here freezing when I could just turn my fan off? Because my neck and body is a much larger area than my face, obviously, I used gray body paint to base out where I was going to put the overall lines and wrinkles on the body. I then went in and added wrinkle details using eyeshadows, pretty much the same as the face in certain spots, like on the neck of doing the wrinkles up and down. I also shaded the one side of those dips to make it look like it's more sunken in. And then created the rest of those lines and wrinkles across the body.
For my hair, I applied a very heavy coat of hairspray. And then just painted it white. 